And welcome back to the Frank Ritter Arena where the RIT Tigers playing some good hockey tonight. They lead Air Force 2-0 after two. Of course, tonight, the big announcement, the new arena here at RIT now has a name, the Gene Policini Center. The gift from the Policini Family Foundation and Tom Galassano. And to talk about this is the president of the Rochester Institute of Technology joining us, Bill Dessler. Great to have you with us once again. Gene Policini, it's so fitting because he was a huge fan of hockey. A huge fan of hockey and a very important person in the Rochester area. Hockey helped to found some of the youth leagues here. Encouraged Tom Galassano to buy the Sabres. He was a real all-around hockey fan. It's a wonderful story of a lifelong friendship until Gene passed away a few years ago. And to have him honored this way by the Policini family, as well as this selfless gift from Tom Galassano himself to honor his old friend. Tom told me nobody else's name should go on this new arena than Gene Policini. And what a wonderful night for this university for RIT. A special night for it. Doesn't get any better than this, does it? You know, we have a uh, packed house. Team's playing well. Tremendous announcement with enormous implications for the future of RIT hockey, I think. And, uh, you know, I think from the standpoint of a president, you know, it's a happy day. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the Tigers on the ice doing the job tonight. It's also fitting, too, because it's almost a year to the day when the campaign was announced. So with this big announcement tonight, I would imagine we're, you know, right where we should be. Is that correct? That's exactly right. I mean, if I had my dreams come true, we'd uh, would get, we're about at 8 million or thereabouts right now. I think we'd get to 10 million sometime in the spring, get the uh, architect's drawings going and uh, raise a couple million more and we'll start construction in the fall. Can you just uh, uh, tell me what you're feeling? I mean, two years ago, this team's in the frozen four and now almost two years removed, we've got everything's in motion now for a new arena. It's just I, how things have changed in just the last, you know, less than two years. Well, I think what Wayne Wilson has said it best, we have a chance to turn the RIT hockey program into the same thing that the uh, Syracuse basketball program means to Syracuse. It's the only Division I program in town. Hopefully, we'll soon have a women's team to go along with it in Division I. And I think that uh, there's a tremendous opportunity for the community to rally around this team, and we've seen that all along. The problem we have is that uh, the people from the community who want to come out and see the games can't get in because they're all sold out. There's only one solution to that. Let's build a bigger house. <laughs> and not only uh, Dr. Dessler is our guest, but for folks who don't know, this new arena, it, it's going to be for the Rochester community at large. It's going to have more uses other than just for the men's hockey team. That's correct. We'll be able to host uh, youth hockey tournaments there. We'll be able to host concerts there if we want. Ritter will actually be increasingly available for the community for both youth hockey and for uh, figure skating. So I think it's a it's a win win all around. Of course, uh, having a bigger arena will allow us to bring even better teams into Rochester to compete against. And uh, we're looking forward to that competition as well. And then realistically, doctor, I mean, what's the best case scenario think for the new arena 2013 14 season? If, if you're an scenario? optimist, yeah, you could say That's sometime the... in the 13 14 season, you know, we could be playing in that arena. I like it. I like the sound of that. So okay. do I. <laughs> Before we let you go, doctor, uh, a quick thought on this Tiger hockey team. It's been like you've had all these missing pieces between Shane and injuries to Saracino and others. It just seems like once the pieces come together, this might be a special season. It, it could very well be. It's a very good team. People sort of forget that. We had a lot of players coming back who were very good. We have a, we, we all don't expect a good season, uh, but on the other hand, this is a typical Wayne Wilson year. You're putting the pieces together, finding out what works. We've got some new people to blend in, had a few injuries early, but now you begin to see what this team can become. This game isn't finished yet, and I hope we don't assume it is as a team, but I think we've played as well as we have all season in those first two periods. Would you like to do the game? Would you like to broadcast? No, no, it's no. better no. analysis than me. <laughs> I have no idea who makes the shots. So, you know, I'm counting on you guys to tell me. You're making me look bad here, Doctor. Doing a great it's job. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And you guys do a terrific job. We thank you very much. Well, this is a great night uh, for fans of RIT, for fans of uh, hockey in general. Dr. Dessler, thank you uh, tonight and for the announcement. You bet, and we're all happy tonight. Congratulations. All right, Team President Bill Dessler here at the second intermission. The Tigers lead two to nothing. We'll come back with highlights and stats next as you look at the Gene Policy Center drawing. This is RIT Sports Online.